The Magical Frog. An old woman used to live in a village. She had a very beautiful daughter. Her daughter liked cherries so much that she didn't used to eat anything else. Lunch or dinner, she only wanted to eat cherries. In fact, people also started calling her Cherry now. There was a clever woman living in Cherry's neighborhood. Not just clever, she was an expert in black magic too. And in her garden, there were so many cherry trees with a lot of cherries. Cherry used to sneak in the garden because she could not resist and used to take some cherries. Because of this, the witch was very angry. Cherry was very beautiful too. Her hair was very long and silky. Her face was as bright as the sun. Her features were so beautiful that the witch could hardly hold her anger. One day, as usual, Cherry was collecting cherries in the garden. The witch saw her and could not hold her anger and cast a magic spell on her, which turned her into an ugly frog. Poor Cherry. The king of that village had three sons. The king was also very old and weak. The king said to his sons, "I will give you all a task, and he who finishes the task shall be the next king. Your first task: I want a velvet cloth that is so soft it will slip right through my ring." And soon, all three of them went out to find such velvet as soon as possible. The elder two brothers brought so many velvets from the market, but the youngest one was walking and thinking how a normal velvet from the market can pass through Dad's ring. He walked very far, looked in so many places, but could not find anything. He was so tired, so he decided to rest on the bank of the river. Suddenly, one frog jumped out of the river and asked him, "Tell me what happened." You seem so tense. She had such a sweet voice. Hearing that, the man said, "How can you help me?" She insisted. "At least tell me why you are worried." The prince told her the story, and after listening to that, she jumped back in the river. She came back with a small piece of cloth and said, "Take this cloth. This will help you." Something's better than nothing," the prince thought, and left for the palace. As soon as he was getting close to the palace, the cloth was getting heavier. The king was happy that all three of them had come with velvet cloth. He gave them the ring. When the elder sons tried, only a part of velvet could pass through it, and they failed. Then the youngest son gave the cloth. Everyone was surprised to see such clean and beautiful velvet. That velvet could pass through the king's ring very easily. I finished one task. The prince was very relaxed. The king gave them a new task: that he wants a dog as small as he could fit in a walnut shell. Again, all three of them started their hunt. This task was much tougher. Where can you find such a dog? The youngest prince started to walk in the nearest jungle. He walked for so long, and once he was tired, he sat near the same river bank to get some rest. Suddenly, he thought of the frog that had helped him last time. Right then, she jumped out of the river. "Oh, my prince, why are you sad again?" The prince told her the whole story. "Wait, let me try and help you again." And then she jumped in the river again. She came out of the river with a dried fruit in her hand. Take this and break it. Once you reach the palace, you will see the magic. The prince happily left for the palace. The elder brothers found a lot of puppies, but they were of no use. They tried to finish the task, but some of them had big heads, some of them had big feet, and some of them had long tails. Both of them were sad. Now the youngest one broke the dry fruit, and surprise! 
there was a sweet little puppy sitting inside the shell. The king tried fitting this puppy in a walnut shell, and he could easily fit inside. The prince was very happy. The king was very happy too. Now it was time for the third and final task. Whosoever will marry the most beautiful girl will be the next king. Great! This was an easy task. The elder son went out to search for a beautiful bride. They knew so many beautiful girls, but the youngest prince was sad. Now who will help me? That little frog can't help me. She can't jump in the river and find a beautiful bride. He was lost in his thought, and again he ended up on the river bank. The frog again greeted him. Now why are you worried? It seems you're crying a lot. Can you please tell me what happened? And then the prince told her everything. The frog said, "Don't worry. Head towards the palace. As soon as you are close to the palace, look behind you. But don't laugh, please." The prince was not able to trust the frog this time. He started to head towards the palace. As soon as the palace was close to him, he heard some words from behind. He saw behind him and was totally stunned. Six very big rats were pulling a cart made of pumpkin, and one very big frog was riding the cart. Inside, on a beautiful chair, there was his friend from the river. This was a very weird scene, but the prince didn't laugh at all. What kind of cart is this? What's happening here? I don't understand any of this. And after a short while, he saw a totally different cart. It was being pulled by two beautiful black horses. The person riding the cart was dressed like a soldier. Inside was a very beautiful girl sitting. The prince recognized her in the very first sight that she was the frog from the river. All three of them entered the palace. Both of the elder sons had a big fleet of beautiful girls, but as soon as Cherry stepped inside the palace, everyone was mesmerized of her, and she was crowned as the queen of beauty, because she was the most beautiful of all. So, my little friends, since the youngest prince finished all the tasks, he was announced as the next king. The end. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment.